Well, hey, my fellow smokers, say hey, good evening. Oh, how you doing? Oh, it's gonna be a cold night. It's supposed to get some snow flurries, not a lot, but it is gonna drop down to about the uh, low 20s. Uh, so I'm on the old, good old pit balls today. So I got some brisket on, some pork butts, and this will give you guys an update also on the, you know, the, uh, as I was smoking all this week, that I have my plate off. Now, I did like it, okay, but the benefit to that, not having that plate on, is it gets up the temp fast. Or oh, what well, it does. Uh, that, then you have, to, you have to control it, you have to control it a little bit more using your side dampers and your top stack, okay? But did I like it? Yeah, especially at, when it's really cold. My temp got up, got up to, um, my pit heated up a lot faster. But you did, I did burn through some fuel. As far as, I probably got maybe five hours, whereas I'm used to getting like seven and a half to eight hours. Okay, but I did put my plate back on uh, because I like to have a slow, slower burn and I like my fuel to last uh, throughout the whole night. Uh, that way I don't, I don't have to, you know, get up. Like I did have to get up uh, a couple times with the plate off. So, it does get up the temp fast and it does go through some fuel. But here we go, I got two briskets on, four pork butts, just salt and pepper. Is it a bad thing not to have not to have it uh, have it on? No. I mean, if you're one of those type of guys, smokers, that like your pit to get up the, if you like to smoke a little bit higher, then take it off. Because it did get up to about 325. Uh, I wasn't watching it, but I was like, man, I got up pretty fast. But I want my pit to come up slow. But I am, hey, I got uh, right now about almost five o'clock now. Uh, so I'm, I'm preheating. I'm gonna have these on for about two hours. It's about 7, 7.30. And that's when I'm gonna drop my lit charcoal. So I'm smoking this preheating, pre-smoking at 180, okay? Just to get my briskets and my pork plus a head start and to, you know, have my fuel go, go, go a little bit longer. So 180 and we're at, let's see. I'm at four. I like to stay at four. Between between three and five. But night cooks, I like to stay at four. Using a meter block, and since it's gonna be cold, I'm going a little bit uh, a little bit more fuel in the uh chamber about three-fourths of the way. Three-fourths. So that varies. You know, if it was like middle summertime, I'll go about a quarter. But since it's gonna be cold, I want to make sure my pit gets up the temp. So I'm going with uh, three fourths. All right, let's see what we got in here. There we go. I got probably about 14 pounds. Yeah, I got kinks for guys. Yes, I'm using kinks. I do have some trawl laws in the back, uh, but I'm not going. You don't need a lot of wood. This is all the wood I'm going with. You know, some of these are fist size, you know, equivalent to a fist size, little pieces. Uh, I'm going to drop my lit charcoals right over these, right here in this corner. And I'm gonna run that damper open, that side vent open, wide open. And then, since it's gonna be cold, I'm gonna leave this about halfway open. Halfway open. Now, if it was summertime, if it was like, you know, six degrees at nighttime, then this would be closed, all right? And then this right here would be halfway open. So that depends on the temperature at nighttime. But there you go, 16 pounds of Kingsford. And this is hickory, hickory chunks. Okay, all right, we're good to go. Let's pop in this pit one more time. So that's my take in, you know, having the plate in there inside the pit or not having it. I like both, but uh, I prefer having that plate in because it gives me a longer burn and it saves my fuel. As far as the pellets, I'm using some competition blend. It smells really good. Okay. Alright guys, a blessing to you. And I'll bring you guys back uh, probably about 3 o'clock in the morning. Maybe 4, maybe 4 o'clock in the morning. 